welcome back to my channel. Stephanie and Lucy are here with the video I've been excited to give y'all, and that is a house tour of our new house. <laughs> Clearly, Lucy is excited as well. So we moved in on Monday afternoon, and today is Sunday. So it is all unpacked, and it is organized. We don't have curtains up, um, but I don't even know what kind of curtains I want. We don't have rugs, stuff like that. Ah! But if I waited until all of that was done, then this video might be a long time before it gets filmed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the house the way it is. We absolutely love it. I think it is very charming and very cute. And I hope y'all enjoy our simple, happy home. The laundry room, which it's really nice to have a laundry room. Um, and I have not, again, some of the cabinets don't close away. I have not really fixed anything up for this. So it is clean, there's no kids right now, um, but the kitty's got her space in here. This is like a, a bathroom that was added on, so we're just kind of using this as Jason's place to shower in the morning, so it hopefully doesn't wake up the kids, and then like the cat stuff can stay in there, but it's not really gonna be a guest bathroom. It's really just gonna be, you know, Jason's, and obviously the boys know it's there. Then um, the kitchen, so I've got Lucy's high chair over here. The house came with a microwave, which we didn't have in our last house, so hello, microwave popcorn. <laughs> and then all of our cabinets. I'm gonna show cabinets and closets um, in different videos so that I can just do the whole house this once but the inside of everything I will show if you guys want to see that let me know and I will show you how things are organized um, I've done a lot of sneak peeks on Instagram and I've heard from a lot of people that it looks very similar to our old house it's not actually that similar but I think because I have all of the same decor it seems <laughs> very similar we have not bought anything except for the dresser and the bunk bed specifically for this house and because I always get asked so this kitchen is for dancing sign is from um, Hobby Lobby. The little candle stand is Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. Watermelon Lemonade is like my favorite Bath and Body Works candle. Yes, yes. Our little Africa sign there is from when we went to Rwanda. Um, the Africa print over here is off of an Etsy shop and it's just a print that I framed. Our jar of Bible verses for each month. And then yes, we have a view of our backyard, which is lovely. We just got a swing set that is awesome for the kids. Just a rug. I know some people are not crazy about having like the um, vinyl or whatever that's called, um, like blinds that are like that. But I really like it because I don't know what I would do with curtains there and it's nice to be able to close that in the evenings. So we do have our table in here. Let me show that. So this dining room is not big enough to ever really have the table, table pulled out all the way, except for when we're having people over. It'll be very crowded in this little walkway. Um, but right now for our family, and Lucy's high chair, we just move it over here. So right now for, works fine for our family to all just sit, like you've seen in some of my vlogs, the way we sit. And then anytime we're having company, we'll just pull it out and then be able to use both sides. They're just, and there is still a walkway here, just not a lot. So it looks better pushed back when we're not using it for company. And we have company, we'll just pull it forward. And then just my map with all the places that we have been stickered on there. And then on that sign, when you have more than you need, build a longer table, not a higher fence, was made by one of my sorority sisters. And she has a shop um, on Facebook and it's called Bohemian Soul. I believe that's right. <laughs> so definitely check her out. Um, so then over here we just got more cabinets and the refrigerator. A couple of more cabinets here. And then we're into the living room. So this is kind of a little nook. So you've just got pictures. You can see into the kitchen as soon as you come in. My hem wall. Um, and some empty space here next to Jason's big chair. We may get a little um, small um, end table for there, or I'm not really sure. But for now, we really like space. Y'all know that. I like, <laughs> I like open space. We've got a lot of people in this house. We need the space. Just another rug. This is like the front door where you would come in. And I've got my Love Grows Best in Little Houses with fewer walls to separate, where you eat and sleep so close together you can't help but communicate. If we had more room between us, think of all we'd miss. Love grows best in little houses just like this. So then we've got um, just all of our couches. The sun is coming in, y'all. And then our cat loves to hide behind the couch all of the time. Um, so she is, Rosie, are you back here? Hi, Rosie. So she does in our old house, and now that we have this little space there, I've actually put a blanket back, and that is like, her little space during the day and at night she comes out and sleeps on her bed. She's the world's laziest cat, but I love it. So that's her spot. So 
If you're one of our friends here and you ever come over and a cat darts out from over there, don't be alarmed. <laughs> it's just Rosie. Um, this map I get asked a lot about and it is from Michaels and you can like always get it 40% off. But it is very, very heavy when you hang it on your wall. So um, be warned of that. The little United States print right there by our map, which the map is from Hobby Lobby, the or no, from Michaels, and the little print is from, or the frame is from Hobby Lobby. I cannot get those right. Then over here we have um, just our television and more pictures. Next to my husband and I's wedding pictures, we have both of our parents and their wedding pictures. And then this hallway, let me turn you back around so you can get a view of the living room, what it's like. Nice open space. We do plan to get curtains. I mentioned that in my last video, but in our last house, we lived there for three years and I never ended up getting curtains in the living room. I just never found some, stopped looking. It's just not really a priority. I like curtains, but I don't want them to add too much to the room. So I don't know what I will get. Um, we do plan to get a rug. I actually bought one yesterday at Target and it was too small. We needed like the next biggest size. So I don't know when that will happen because where we live now, is pretty much all major shopping is a good 30 to 45 minutes away. So I'm not sure when I will get to our big town next to get that rug, but we do plan to definitely get a rug here to warm up the space a little bit, give Lucy a better place to crawl. Um, but the curtains, I mean, y'all will just see it may be a while before we get curtains. So anyways, this leads into, we have a closet here, like a coat closet. And then, um, again, I'll do another video on closets if y'all want me to. This is the boys room. So this is where Elliot, George and Martin get to hang out. This is their new bunk bed. Ikea would not ship to our town, so this bunk bed is not the one that I had originally wanted. This one's from Walmart, but um, it works just fine. The boys like it, and I think it's kind of nice that it's white. And they just have play space, play space, play space. Their toys are stored in their two baskets still. Their toy basket and their um, book basket are in their closet there. Um, yeah. And then just more area to play. So then back out here, we have just the regular bathroom. Nothing too exciting here. Back to a mirror and the cabinets. This towel rack used to be um, on the back of our other door in our last house in the bathroom, but it is too big at the top. The door doesn't close. So we just have it hanging on this as another Cabinet. So it's actually a lot of storage in this bathroom. It's really nice. So yeah, I think this is the only decoration so far. Hi y'all. And then here, little hallway space. I love the laminate wood flooring they put in and we go into Lucy's room. So this bed is the other bunk bed to the brown one in there, but we don't have them made as bunk beds obviously now. I don't really plan to. Um, this bed is for, I've been asked this already, if like um, either one of my mom or Jason's mom comes and stays, there's an actual bed for someone to stay in. And then obviously Lucy's going to need it in a couple of years, so we just went ahead and bought the mattress for it, already had the bed. So that is her bed, that little doll is off of an Etsy shop. This bedding is from Walmart, it's only like $19 I think. Um, it does only come in a full queen or a king, so we just bought the full size one and just, um, you know, it's, it's bigger than it needs to be, but it works. The little garland is from Hobby Lobby. Then over here, the itty bitty and pretty sign is from Hobby Lobby. Lucy sign I made. And this is the most darling thing in the whole world. Look at that cute little pillow. This is from Target and I just could not resist adding that to her room. We can put back the um, railing on her bed. We plan to get a little half one for her bed, but Lucy's not sleeping in here yet. So again, no curtains in this room. Um, and no curtains in the boys' room. Don't know when that'll happen. Again, not a priority. Lots of play space here. I'm thinking for her first birthday, Lucy might get like a toy kitchen or something to go there. Um, we'll see. Again, for now, it's just nice empty space. This is the pink dresser that was red, blue, and yellow. <laughs> um, I don't have anything on top of it yet. No decor for that yet. But figuring out what I want there. So yeah, that is Lucy's room. I plan to get something up here and something for the wall here to decorate above that. But for now, that is what her room looks like. I love that there is pink in my house. So fun after three boys. Then this is um, mine and Jason's room. Probably all looks very similar. <laughs> if you saw the videos of our last house, the way it's kind of laid out. Nothing fancy, but we love it. My gallery wall is now over here instead of being on top of the dresser. 
Um, and then this is the closet space for Jason and I. And we don't have end tables. I get asked about that a lot. We may get one for here. Um, but we may not. We didn't have them in the last house, so. Not a big deal. And isn't that the sweetest picture ever? This is my cat, Henry, and my sister's sister-in-law drew that for me out of a picture of him. And he's like the cutest 18-pound cat ever. Just love him. So, love that he's forever on my wall. Crazy cat lady here, y'all. So, that is our house. Um, and then, obviously, you can see a little bit back into here. We have a backyard that is messy and full of toys and a sandbox and balls. So, yeah. And you can see the mountains a little bit here. One of the, my favorite things about where we live, as far as what it looks like, is we have the mountains. And I love the mountains. Love, love, love. So... It concludes my house tour. Um, I told my husband, I was like, this will take me like 15 minutes or less. Seriously, it won't take me that long. But I hope you all enjoyed it. If there's anything you want to see of how I've organized any specific closets or all the closets or the kitchen or whatever, just let me down, know in the comments down below and I will do those videos for you. Of course, I have more minimalism videos coming up this next week. Um, and I will talk to you all in those videos. Hope you are having a wonderful day. Bye, guys.